Why don't you go the other way? Yeah, you come back this way. What? <laughs> No, it can We are back. We two yet is with Jay Crockenberg. How are you, sir? Did we cut the first? We'll get it in there somewhere, don't worry. We are day two of the Miami Boat Show. It is stinking hot. I don't know how you're surviving in a dark shirt, but... Uh, we hung out are. at uh, the Eden Rock for two hours. Oh, I Proper see. Proper boat showing. Oh, so you were, you were networking, right? Yes. Over a liquid lunch? Uh, Nicole had a liquid lunch. Fair enough. Usually, so usually if someone else pays, we'll, we'll sit down for lunch. I like that. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> Tell us a bit about what you do, where you're from, and who you are. Oh, uh, we make mattresses, sheets, and towels for boats. Right, okay. Homes. We physically manufacture it. You do manufacture? Yeah, I, I learned how to sew. Okay. I, I, I only have to do it when... You know, we're on a time crunch, mm -hmm. and they say we can't do this. I said, okay, get out of the fucking way. Why is boat sheets different from regular sheets that you buy for residential? Like you buy from Bed Bath and Beyond, for instance. Well, generally the sizes are not standard. There's not some really smart person that says, hey, let's put a normal size bed in this really large room where we could do that. But no, we're going to make it 63 by 72, which doesn't work and then the size needs to be specifically right or interesting so you have to do custom stuff uh, is yeah. every boat pretty much got its own custom kind of mattress set and then sheet set yeah everything's different does that make it fun or does it make it a lot more challenging both okay makes sense how did you get into sheets anyway and linens <laughs> do you have a, a history in boating doing this or yeah I used to be a chef and a mate on a boat really yeah you so, were a chef? Yeah. What kind of, did you train for that or? No, I was just really good at cooking and then I talked to the right lady at the right time and okay. I became her personal chef. And What's I, the recipe for the perfect scrambled eggs? I ask every chef I've ever met. I don't I've like scrambled eggs, I like poached eggs. Oh, okay, what's your perfect recipe for that, for that then? Water, salt, vinegar and just get the water boiling but not boiling and then pop it in there and just poke it a few times and no one. Are you a toast and tips kind of guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm a bacon and tips kind okay, of guy. Yep, nice. Just, I, don't, I don't like the egg itself. I like the yolk. Yep. It makes the perfect yolk, and you just kind of crack that little... Are you supposed to spin the water, like create a vortex, or is that myth? If you're making one, that's good. Yeah. But if you if you have the vinegar at the right density, uh, it's really good to put, it, put the egg in like a little container and yeah. then drip it. Into, like dip it into the water and drop it. So right, so it's only like a cup or something. Yeah, you just, you just, kind just of well, you kind of float tilt the cup. You, you tilt the cup into it. Don't drop if it. If you try to crack it in, it goes everywhere. Yeah. See, I learned something today. That's good. Yeah. Huh. I'm, a, I'm a yolk kind of guy. You're a yolk yeah, kind of guy. Dip that bacon right in the fuck me. <laughs> right. Okay. So after that, you were recruited to be a personal chef, and then what happened? Uh, then they sold the boat, and I went with the new owners. And then I was washing the boat one day, and this I see this guy walking down the boat, down the ramp. Just this big, bolsterous person with these pink bags, and he's got a pink polo on and khaki shorts. Are you and are you talking are you talking about the, the Murph? Yeah. Right. Okay. And these penny loaf, this sockless penny loafer, <laughs> big, burr, just burly guy walking with all this pink shit, and I'm like scrubbing the boat. I'm like, holy shit, what's going on? I'm like. Look at this guy. Please tell me he's not coming to my boat. Oh, he's standing on the back of the boat. I got to go talk to this guy. And uh, I don't know. One thing led to another, and I was selling sheets. <laughs> I have no idea. And that was, what, 10 years ago now? Jesus. So you've been in the linen business Ten, for... 10, yeah. Time goes fast, isn't it? Yeah, now, now I work for manufacturing. It's a little less... There's stressful. no retail, yeah. Oh, it's, that's it's still sense. stressful, but you don't have to go to a retail shop and dress up and... Put on a pretty face every day. Well, that makes sense. You can be grumpy. How do you find the boat show today? You getting lots of business? Is it busy or We slow? just like to walk around and chit chat. Remind, remind people that we're alive. Well, I was going to say we hadn't seen you for a little while. We, we were going to send out a search party, but uh, it's glad to see you're alive. It is. Jay, thank you very I'm much really, for your time. What, what's the What's the premise? Uh, do you guys still do lighting or this? Yeah, is, this, this is this is how this we. This is a hobby. Yeah, this is how we do the boat shows now to network with new people. I like it. And give them exposure and learn about their lives so that, uh, you know, I can. Yeah. Well, I'm